Welcome to the darkest room at Alternativa, the art department. We block sunlight from entering so that our artists can completely immerse themselves into the creation of new universes. Right now they're engaged in designing the world of the new 10K Online. Maps are not created as a single piece. Rather, we build them out of a collection of elements and objects which we create, and then bring together into multiple combinations. Combined with scaling, this approach allows us to come up with a large variety of completely different maps. For example, all the rocks on this demo level are made using just four different stone models. But let's take a close look at the process. The first step is for the artists and game designers to create a list of all the objects to be included. Next, they create crude schematic models or blanks of each element. A blank gives a general idea of the object's shape and purpose. It also serves as the basis on which the concept art is created and gives us a clear idea of what the final models will look like. It's then up to the 3D artist to turn concept into reality. Some models may affect gameplay and require special modifications. For instance, a tunnel with rounded walls might look good, but it would not work with ricochet, so the walls would have to be made flat and at right angles. After applying the necessary alterations, we create a 3D model of the object and apply textures to it. The number of textures required is agreed upon ahead of time. Most of them are created in advance, others need to be created right in the process of covering. Once an object is ready, we place it in the environment and observe it from different perspectives. If the result is up to our standards, we create several LODs of the same object. With this, it is finally ready for you to admire inside the world of the new tanky.